Hi, I'm Owen Honey, your local DIY enthusiast from Boulders. Purchasing a rope bench in a shop could cost you a pretty penny, but if you built your own one, you could do it for a fraction of the price. Let me show you how you can do it at home. The tools and materials required to complete the task are 44 by 44 millimeter pine cut into the following lengths. One meter, two of them, four pieces at 40 centimeters, and four pieces at 20 centimeters. You'll need two lengths of 22 millimeter dowel sticks. You'll need wood glue, a jigsaw, a cordless drill with a four millimeter wood bit, and a 22 millimeter spade wood bit. A tape measure, pencil, cotton twine or string, 24 black wood screws, 60 meters of rope, F clamps, an orbital sander, fired earth soft wax, and a cloth. So to get started on our rope bench, firstly, we'll take our one meter lengths, make a mark at 10 centimeters and 12.2 centimeters from either end. That indicates where we'll attach our 20 centimeter pieces of pine. With your four millimeter wood drill bits, make two holes at the 12.2 centimeter marks. So now carefully secure your 20 centimeter piece of pine between the one meter lengths using 100 millimeter wood screws and your F clamps to secure it safely. So the next thing we're gonna do is work on the legs and we're gonna make a mark at 10 centimeters from the base of the leg and also 12.2 centimeters. And we're gonna attach our other 20 centimeter pieces between the legs. Okay, so we've made one hole through the base of the leg. We're gonna attach the 20 centimeter piece of pine between them using our F clamp, just to secure it in place, making sure everything is nice and level between all the pieces with your finger. And then we're gonna screw that together with this 100 millimeter wood <laughs> screw. So now we're gonna work on making the holes for the dial sticks. Remember they're 22 millimeters in diameter and I'm going to use my 22 millimeter spade drill bit to make those holes. I've already marked it out at exactly midway point of this 44 millimeter wood and 10 centimeters from either end. So we're gonna make the holes. Now also just remember, you don't wanna go all the way through this piece of wood, so stop at about halfway point, which in my spade is about that point there. So I've marked it out, but just be careful, don't go all the way through your wood. So I find the easiest way to measure off the length of the dial stick is by placing it on the 20 centimeter piece of wood at the top of the bench. Come all the way down to the other end, that would be halfway on this 20 centimeter piece of wood. We're gonna take off a couple of moles and make our mark. And that mark will not only be for this dial stick, but for the other one as well. A tip to make sure that you get a straight hole through this piece for your dial sticks is to use the guide holes made by the paddle bit and you can see that hole will give us exactly the center of the dial stick. So put a generous amount of wood glue into the holes where the dials will go into and let it dry just a little bit so it becomes nice and tacky in order to stop the glue from coming out the other end, just put some screws in there and that will stop it from leaking all over. There we go. So let that dry a little bit. 
So now we're going to put the twine over the top part of our bench and all I'm doing is marking out seven and a half centimeters from the one edge, inside edge, and 12 and a half from the other edge. So that's going to be seven and a half from either side and we've got a five centimeter gap here and that's where we're going to twine or we'll put our cotton over. Now just to start off the cotton process, the string process, I'm going to put a screw in there and that indicates where that mark is and it just gives us a place to bind the string to and I'll put another screw in at the other side and this is the part where we'll put our cotton string around the bench to give it extra support for when we put the seat in place with that rope. So wind your string around the top of the bench as tight as possible and seal off with a knot. So now we're gonna put our dowels in place. That glue should be nice and tacky right now. And all it is is holding it securely. All secure. What we're gonna do now is attach the legs to the top of the bench. We must not get the screws that attach from the top into those screws. You wanna go either side of those screws to attach the legs to the bench. So all I do is mark off where those screws are and we'll do a hole on either side of them. Exactly the same for the other side. So lightly sand your bench down before putting the rope in place. Now to start the rope on your bench, take a wood screw and secure it in the corner so it is out of sight. Then you can start winding the rope around the bench as tight as possible. And that's it, your rope bench, it looks wonderful. And just to finish off the wood, you can put it on fired earth, finishing wax, and that will just bring out the life in the wood. But it looks fantastic, and for more fantastic ideas just like this, all you need to do is get onto our website and click on our blog. That website address is www.builders.co.za. All the products we used in this insert are available at Builders online or in store. Get to Builders, get it done.